purpose of this video is to give you an overview of Autodesk Inventor. We'll cover the basic operation of Inventor, how to create new files. Uh, we'll focus on individual part files. Uh, I'll review an assembly file and a drawing file, and we'll cover how to save files when finished. So the first thing will be to launch the application from your desktop. Um, it's labeled Autodesk Inventor as an icon right here. I have it pinned to my taskbar as well. You may want to do that. We will be using this frequently in class. Um, so Autodesk Inventor is a modeling software that allows us to create parts and then assemble multiple parts into assembly files. From those, we can create drawing files, and we can even create presentation files. So to begin, I want to show you just an example of a part, uh, a part file. Uh, and this happens to be the front air scoop from the air skimmers that we modeled in class. And you can see that in the window here, in the active window, we've got the object. And we have a view cube to the right side here. And I can click and, and maneuver the view cube to rotate the object. And if I want to get back to the original starting point, click the little home uh, tab right next to the view cube, and it'll get us back to the original uh, starting point. If I want to see just the front view, I click on the front of the cube, and then I can use these arrows if I want to rotate it around a different angle or a different vantage point. So this is an example of a part, an individual part file. It's a, an IPT file. Now, if we want to take that part, build other parts, and put them together, that is what we would call an assembly file. So I have a file of the completed air, skim, uh, air skimmer. <clears throat> This is an IAM file, and it works the same way, except I have assembled multiple pieces, the front scoop, the main body panel, the fins, and the rear air scoop. The other type of file that I'd like to review before I show you how to work on a, on a part file is a drawing file. That is a DWG file. And so this file, um, as we've reviewed in class, this is an orthographic projection. Um, this file shows dimensions and sizes of pieces. And it can be created from an individual part file or an assembly. So if we have an assembly finished or an individual part finished, then we can create a drawing file of it. So we've got the top view, the front view, the right side view, and then an isometric, so we can get a good overall sense of the of the body panel. All right, so Autodesk Inventor uses part files, individual part files or IPT files uh, initially, and then we assemble those different parts to create different models. And um, then we can create drawings. Later, as time permits, we'll get into the presentation files where we can uh, make uh, almost an animation where the parts come together into an assembly. So to begin, we click on the part file right here, and we will create a new part. <clears throat> this may take a little bit. If you get a message here on the screen about a file location, just click OK. And now we have a blank page to start from. At this point, you want to select in the upper left-hand corner, Start Sketch, or Start 2D Sketch. And then we're going to select the plane that we want to work on. Notice if I hover the mouse over these, I have the XY plane, I have the YZ plane, and then I have the XZ plane. I want to go ahead and use the XY plane. 
So now I've selected that, I can create a 2D sketch. I'm going to select a rectangle, and if you look through the options here, you've got circle, line, um, arc, rectangle, and then there's a lot of a lot of different options here that we will get into um, as we progress. We're going to start really basic here, just with a with a simple rectangle. So I've selected that, drag the mouse out over the screen. I'm going to left click once. And after I release, then I'm going to drag this out. And notice the numbers, the dimensions are changing as I move the mouse. At this point, I'm just going to type. Notice the dark blue highlighted dimension. I'm going to type 0.75, and then I'm going to press the tab key. And now I've got the other dimension, the height dimension, and I'm going to make that 0.75 as well. Now I'm going to press enter, and I have a square that is 0.75 by 0.75. This is the basis of how to create individual parts. We have a 2D sketch. I want to make a cube, so I'm finished with this view. I'm going to select finish sketch in the upper right hand part of the screen. At this point, I can now extrude this shape that I've created. I'm going to go up here in the upper left hand part of the screen and select extrude. And notice when you hover the mouse over any of these different features or functions, you get a menu that comes up and you'll have a little bit of an explanation of what that what that uh, command does. I'm going to select extrude. And now I can start to extrude that shape and make it three dimensional. I want to go ahead and extrude it out. And notice I can change the direction that it extrudes. I can have it extrude symmetrically from my drawing. I'm just going to go ahead and use direction to extrude it away from me. And in the distance category here, I want to make that 3 fourths of an inch. So that's 0.75 inches so that I have a cube. Select OK. And now I'm going to rotate the cube. You can kind of see what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and assign it a material to add some color to it. I'm going to go up here to Tools, in the upper left part of the screen, and go over to Material. And I'm just going to go ahead and make this um, gold just so it stands out a little bit. Select the little arrow here to add the material to our document. And uh, we can close that menu and we now have a gold cube. All right, at this point I'm going to show you how to save your work. We will cover how to assemble these cubes at a later point. So means this is a new file. I'm going to go over here to the menu and go down to Save As. The first step in saving a document for the first time is to go to Save As. So that we can specify a location and give it a name. You will need to create a new folder. I have a number of folders created for uh, drawings with Inventor. I would recommend that you create a new folder by selecting this uh, small folder, this little icon here. And then give that folder a name. Um, for your purposes, I would call it Design Modeling or DM. You could call it GTT if you wanted, but make a folder that you can use. Double click on that folder. Oops. Rename that. We'll give the file a name here. We'll go back and edit that folder at a later point. Um, and we're going to name the file cube1. And then select save.
All right. Now, any updates from this point on could be made by just selecting this save command from the top left. But the first time when you create an object, you need to go to save as so that you can give it a name and a location. All right, when that is finished, then you're good to close out. You'll be able to open your file up at a later point and work on it um, <clears throat> and make changes. We'll cover assemblies at a later point.